They are coming in very close. Keep your seconds that we're in the vehicle and off, yeah? One. That one got hit. Keep rolling. We're gonna wait for a moment here. Nico. Guys, do you guys hear me on MS? Uh, and we're going to jump into that package because Richard Engel is live with us now. And Richard, you're you're there near the border. What's happening? All right, Nico. Stay in position. Well, I can tell you right now, we are in the town of Zderot, and there has been a lot of incoming fire here. It believe we believe that it is mortar fire. Some of them also appear to have been rockets. They've been coming in quite close. That is why we are on the the ground right now. This is still considered a very active combat zone, even though we are inside Israeli territory. And it is not just the incoming rockets and mortars. Uh, there are also reports from Israeli officials of new infiltrations of Hamas sending more fighters through breaches in the border fence. According to uh, a senior Israeli official, there are about 30 different holes, breaches in that border uh, perimeter and most of them have been plugged up, around 90% of them have been plugged up, but 10% remain, they're trying to secure them, but remain open. So uh, this is still an active situation here. Uh, most of the residents uh, in this area have been cleared out, uh, and the Israelis are trying to move people away from, from, uh, from border towns and communities and, and to try and also look for Hamas fighters because they believe that, that cells, sleeper cells, or, or other fighters uh, have, have infiltrated and are still in the area, potentially hiding in some of the buildings. And now maybe it seems like that big barrage uh, that, that, uh, that we just uh, experienced has, has passed. They, they come in waves, but this one was uh, right, uh, practically right on top of us, uh, right here in, in Zderot. Richard, if any moment you and your crew need to move to get to safety, please do so. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.